Do you know that on average every year there are over 25 million lightning strikes in the United States, with Florida being the lightning capital of the USA? In fact, on average, 49 people are killed every year in the U.S. due to lightning, which is why we always say that cliche term when lightning roars head indoors. In fact, you can get hit by a lightning strike from a parent thunderstorm over 20 miles away. That would be like standing here in downtown Jacksonville at Metro Park and getting hit by a lightning strike coming from a thunderstorm over Jacksonville Beach. And did you know the deadliest activity you can do outside during a lightning storm is fishing? This is because you are likely in an exposed area and on or near water. What do you do if you're outside and you hear thunder? Well, I know most people, especially here in Florida, so as we get so many storms, is ignore it until at least it starts raining and you start to get wet and then you head inside. But that can be extremely dangerous. Maybe you might want to take shelter under the nearest tree. That's also a bad idea. This tree, especially one that is standing by itself, can act like a lightning rod funneling the bolt down to the surface and electrocuting you as you're standing by it. Key thing is to avoid isolated tall objects or make sure you're not standing out in an open field isolated by yourself as well. Instead, try to head indoors or your car. If you can't make it to either of those, a sheltered area, likely with a roof, would be your best option. But really, the best option is try to avoid being outside during a thunderstorm in the first place. You can track the radar where these storms are by our First Coast News app. Not to mention, check our forecast at firstcoastnews.com so you can stay informed. I'm meteorologist Robert Spena, First Coast News, on your side.